Hey friends, Dawn here from Tech Savvy Creative. Today, we are gonna work on one of my favorite automations. We are going to create a Google form that will then link to Flowdesk. I love this automation as a photographer. Tomorrow, I have a open house at a venue and this will allow me to hand people who visit my booth an iPad, they will fill out my form, and before they even leave my booth, they will have a beautiful email in their inbox. Now, if you're not familiar with Flowdesk, Flowdesk is an online marketing tool that is beautiful. If you've ever wanted to create beautiful, stunning email marketing, this is the tool that you need. I have a link down below. Check it out. You'll get 50% off of Flowdesk for the year. Okay, let's dive in. The three tools we're going to be using today are Google Forms, Zapier, and Flowdesk. So let's get started with our Google Form. So to get started, we're gonna create a brand new form in Google Forms. I'm going to be at an open house this week at the Dominion Country Club. So I need to have a form that takes information from the people that visit my booth. So all I need are things like first name, last name, their email address, when is their wedding, and where they're getting married. Nice and short, I don't want it to be too long, so it's kind of a pain to fill out. Keep it short and sweet, your clients will be very happy about that. Okay, so here I am, I'm in Google Forms, and I'm going to add a new blank form. I'm gonna go ahead and name it Dominion Open House, and then I'm going to add the questions that I want on the form. Okay, now that my form is complete, I need to go ahead and link the responses to a Google Sheet. This is a very important step because that is what we're going to use for Zapier to connect to Flowdesk. So let's dive in. To do that, all I'm going to do is click on the responses tab at the very top of my form. There's this little green button right here that says create spreadsheet. Click on that button. It's going to ask you what you want to name your spreadsheet, and I just leave it at the default, Dominion Open House Responses, and then I'll click Create. This is the spreadsheet that all of the answers that are filled in at my booth will go to. And this is what we're going to use to reference all the information we need for Zapier to connect to Flowdesk. Once this is done, we're good to go, but let's test it before we go any further. Okay. So I'm gonna dive in here, go back to my form, and then I'm going to click on send. There's a link button right there at the top, and I'm going to copy by clicking Command C on my keyboard, and then pasting it into a new window. This is gonna bring up my form, so let's test it out. Don Richardson, okay, I'm going to say testing at me.com, my wedding date. We'll just use a random date and Dominion. Okay, let's test it out. I'm going to go back to that spreadsheet and it fills in just like that. So our spreadsheet is working, our form is working great. We're good to go. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is jump into Flowdesk. So for my next step, I'm going to go ahead and get Flowdesk ready to go before I connect the two together. So to do that, I'm going to create a new segment in Flowdesk that identifies those subscribers to be the ones that I met at the Dominion Open House. I'm also going to put them into what's called a workflow when a subscriber has that new segment added to them, they automatically go through a process of sending a certain set of emails. For this one, it's just gonna be one email, so we'll keep it nice and simple here. So let's dive in together. Okay, so I am going to go to audience up here at the top, and I'm gonna click on segments. I'm going to add a new segment. I'm gonna call it Dominion Open House. This is the tag I want to add to my subscribers when they fill out my form on the Google form. Perfect. So now I'm gonna to go to workflows. So a workflow is a series of steps that takes place when something happens. 
So in this situation, when the subscriber has the tag Dominion Open House, it's going to send an email, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and create new. I'm gonna start from scratch and I'm gonna call it Dominion Open House, save. So I'm gonna add what's called a trigger. And I click on that. Begin this workflow when a subscriber is added to a segment. And then I'm going to add the segment Dominion Open House. That's when this whole thing takes off. Then when that happens, I want to send an email. So I already have this email created. So I'm going to duplicate it from an existing email and make some small changes. If you haven't created a new email for this, you're gonna go ahead and click the create new email button. So I'm going to duplicate an existing email. I'm going to use a copy from an open house that I had a couple weeks ago. And then I'm gonna click on the edit button to make sure everything's ready to go. Okay, picture of my face. <laughs> Um, I want to say thank you for stopping by my booth at the Dominion open house. I love open houses for so many reasons, mostly because I can't, I get a chance to meet you in person and see if we click. Um, and then they have a show special. So the show special was they get an album if they book by a certain date. So making sure this looks good to go. Links are all the same. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and click finish up here in the top corner. Okay, chance to meet at the Dominion Open House. Oops. Oh, I'm short on leather supply. There we go, I'm just gonna make this shorter at the Dominion Open House. Okay, perfect. Now, here's something that I love to do to all of my workflows. There's always a chance that I wanna go back and add more steps to this workflow later, but if they have been through the workflow and they've completed it, you can't send those completed members through that workflow again. So what I do is I always go here and I add a time delay and I say wait 100 days. I know that's like a really long time, but if I decide that I wanna send follow-up emails or maybe some other emails about another open house coming up, I want to be able to add it to this workflow within that 100 days. That also helps me if I'm running behind and I need to do this quickly, it keeps me aligned, ready to go, and I can just come back later when I'm ready to update that. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and click on publish. Oh delay and then I'm going to add an action. I forgot to end this. So choose an action. Yes. Okay. Add a segment and then I call it completed open house. Okay. Publish. All right, there we go. Perfect, good to go there. So now we're gonna dive into Zapier. Zapier is where the real magic happens. With Zapier, you're able to connect two tools together. So we're going to be connecting the Google Sheet that we created from our form to Flowdesk. Okay, so if you haven't created a Zapier account yet, you'll wanna go ahead and do that. The great thing about Zapier is you get a lot of zaps for free on their free account. So you might not need a paid account right away. So when, once I'm here, I'm gonna go ahead and click on the big orange button that says make a zap. I am going to connect Google Sheets. So I'm gonna add that right there. The trigger event is a new spreadsheet row is added. So remember, when somebody fills out my form, it adds them to my spreadsheet. That's exactly when I want this zap to take place. I'm gonna click continue. Now it's gonna ask me what sheet is it looking at. So it's gonna, I'm gonna click on Don Elizabeth Studios. 
and I am going to choose Dominion Open House. Okay, asking me what worksheet. Go ahead and click continue. Now I'm going to test. Testing is so important here. You do not want to test with your clients. You want to test with yourself. There's nothing more embarrassing than sending the wrong automation to the wrong person. Um, I've done it myself many times. So use this time to take a moment and make sure it works exactly how you want to before your clients see it. So I'm going to click on test and review. It's going to find some data. So it found a row in the spreadsheet. I'm going to click on that and look at that. It's my email. It's exactly what we wanted. Okay. Done editing. Looks good. Now, once it finds that, sh that line in the Google Sheet, it's going to do blank. So now I'm going to click do this. Then I'm going to click on Flowdesk. If you don't see Flowdesk here, you're just going to type it into the search bar. I've done this before, so it recognizes like, hey, you might want this app. Okay, my action event is I'm going to create or update a subscriber. I love this action because if they are already a subscriber, it adds the tag to their existing input. I don't have to create a, a duplicate, it knows that they're there already and it will just add that segment to the already existing subscriber. Click on continue. It's gonna ask me what account. You haven't signed in and it's gonna ask you to sign in at this point. And I'm going to add the segment Dominion Open House. Now it's asking me for email. So it's going to be pulling information that I gave it earlier and asking me, so which one of these lines in this spreadsheet is the email address? So I'm gonna click on this line, this little button here on the side, and it's going to show me the information from the spreadsheet. So I'm gonna click on the email address, and I'm gonna do the same for the first name. And I can do the same for the last two if I'd like. Continue. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and test and review. Okay, a test subscriber was sent to Flowdesk just now. So let's go back to Flowdesk and check it out. So I'm gonna go to audience and subscribers and look at that right there. You can see that that has been added to my subscriptions. Okay, so now I'm going to click done editing and I'm gonna turn on my zap. Remember, test, test, test. Not only will it be good for you in building your confidence around the automation that you just created, but it's also gonna make sure that this works flawlessly for your clients and anybody you interact with. Trust me, it will make you feel so much better when you trust the tools that you're using. So take some time, create some test data, and run through it multiple times. Let's do that together. So let's do this from the very beginning. I'm gonna go ahead and fill out my form. Dawn Richardson. And I'm going to use a random email address, but it want, you want it to be something that you do have access to, so you can make sure that you got the email, okay? I'm gonna use one of my old throwaway accounts. Alex at me .com. 07 10 2021. I'm not sure on my venue yet. Okay, we're gonna go check. There it is, right there. Don Richardson, Twilight Fox. Perfect, good to go. Now, for this to take place in Zapier, it does take a couple minutes. So don't freak out if it doesn't work right away. Let's check it out. Although, I don't think it's run quite yet. Not yet, this is one from earlier. So I'm gonna give it a few minutes before I check again. All right, so it's already working. It went ahead there. You see it says Google Sheet to Flowdesk and it says it was successful. So now we're gonna jump back to Flowdesk to make sure it worked correctly. Okay, so the email address that I gave it was an email address that I've used in the past. So it's already an existing subscriber. So if this worked correctly, it should have added that new segment to the existing subscriber. So to do that, I'm just gonna search my subscribers for that email address. And there it is. You see that tag right there? It was just added to there. Now, if 
you have a subscriber that's brand new, has not been in your email system before, it would be at the very top of this list. You don't have to go looking for it. So as you test these things, keep that in mind to make sure that you look both on the existing subscriber and the brand new subscriber. So now we wanna go check and make sure that the email actually came through. So I'm just gonna jump over to my email and there it is. Right at the top, looks good. Always check your links. Make sure that these work. Perfect, that's one, that's two. And then I check this one too, my pricing guide. Yes, there we go. Ta-da, that's it, you're good to go. So now tomorrow at my open house, I'm going to use my iPad. When a potential client does come to my booth, I'm just gonna hand that iPad over so they can fill out that information. And then all of those links and the pricing guide will be sent to them via email. This is such an easy way to get beautiful emails and great information over to these potential clients. And really, the setup doesn't take that long. It is easy, it is automatic, and definitely one of my favorite automations. I'd love to hear what you think. Go ahead and leave a comment down below. And if you like these videos, please subscribe to our channel. Talk to you soon, guys.